It's been a year since South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met for their third summit in Pyongyang. South Korea held an event this morning to mark the anniversary, but North Korea hasn't shown any particular response. Here's our Unification Ministry correspondent, Oh Jung-hee. In September 2018, South Korean President Moon Jae-in flew to Pyongyang for his third summit with Kim Jong-un. And that's where the two Koreas came up with the Pyongyang Joint Declaration, which stipulated a wide range of inter-Korean projects, from lowering military tensions to fostering economic cooperation, resolving humanitarian issues, and boosting cultural and sports exchanges. Fast forward a year, after the Hanoi summit between Pyongyang and Washington ended without a deal, inter-Korean relations are at a deadlock, and the promises of the Pyongyang Joint Declaration remain unfulfilled. Still, South Korea held an event on Thursday at its Office of Inter-Korean Dialogue to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the summit in Pyongyang. The country's unification minister stressed that tensions on the Korean peninsula have eased considerably, and South Korea will keep working with both Pyongyang and Washington. North Korea has recently announced that it's willing to resume negotiations with the U.S. in late September. South Korea will closely coordinate with the U.S. and always keep open its channel for dialogue with the North, so that North Korea-U.S. working-level negotiations can succeed. The need to hold reunions of families separated by the Korean War was highlighted as well. We're doing everything we can to arrange video and face-to-face -face reunions as well as enable South Korean families to exchange letters with their North Korean relatives and visit their hometowns in the North. But it seems it'll take a while until South Korea kickstarts work with the North on these inter-Korean projects. On Thursday, North Korea did not release any reports or show any response about the anniversary of the summit. Observers point out that the North has recently been sending fewer messages to South Korea, which could imply it first wants to focus on its negotiations with the U.S. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.